care was and is a wonderful dream. Hundreds of thousands of Tennesseans today have health insurance who in other states would have none. I want to save TennCare, not to dismantle it. All I've been told is that you're canceled. Can you help me get this knife out of my bag? I got sick. And if that's the only crime that I've committed and I'm being sentenced to death for, I'd like to have a jury among my peers. This is pure elimination of the people. And I say elimination because if it continues to follow, he's eliminating people who are going to die. At one point, I asked the doctor, I said, if it comes down to it, does she get a liver or does she die? And he says, well, we don't like to see no one die, but sure, the answer to your question is, yes, she'll die. It's always been very frustrating to hear people say, we can't cover all Americans because it costs too much, we don't have enough money. In the first two or three years of TenCare, achieved the lowest per capita cost of any Medicaid program in the country with the most people covered as a percentage of the state population. It showed the money was in the system. It was a matter of exercising political will to hold the healthcare industry accountable. There were three managed care organizations that squandered literally hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, and the state just sat back and let them do it. Governor Bredesen did try to manage it at all. Expenses got out of control to such a point where he says, I just got to cut the hell out of it. Who was going to be impacted? Who are these folks? Because see, if that information would have gotten out, then Tennesseans would have known it is the most sickest and weakest and most vulnerable among us. There's talk of the federal government cutting out several billion dollars from, from the Medicaid program, which would hurt every state. There's no question Tennessee is being looked at because the governor is going uh, to a number of states and saying, look what I've done, that's the future of the Medicaid program. And God forbid that is the future of the program.